Hey guys, this is Justin from Grimes Finds. I just wanted to first thank you uh, for all the love that you've shown this Facebook page, not even being a week old. Um, all the views that we've seen here on Facebook and YouTube. So anyway, just thank you for the love. And um, I wanted to share a story with you today. So yesterday, all the gold that I found that you might have saw in episode one, I was sitting in my office and a consigner came in and uh, I was running a magnet over just... I spilled it out on the desk, I was running a magnet over, and he asked me what I was doing. And this is someone who's been in the industry for a while. But it's just one of the techniques we use here not to get bamboozled with fake gold. Whether it's a consigner bringing it in, or if it's just all the good stuff we find in storage units like this. Uh, so what I want to do is just kind of run you through the test. Uh, one quick test uh, is the magnet test. It's the most simple test you can check on jewelry uh, and your coins, because believe it or not, there's a lot of fake coins out there, even just... Uh, Morgan silver dollars that are pretty common. Uh, we had a consigner once who got bamboozled out of thousands um, from coins that weren't actually 90% silver like they should have been. So anyway, if you'll just look down here, I'm going to show you. Uh, I got two very strong magnets. So these are some of the items. These all came out of storage units. And a lot of these to the eye will look like either sterling silver, 925. Uh, you'll find coins. You'll find uh, things that could appear to be gold. Maybe they are gold. Uh, but you don't know and you can't be fooled by even if it's stamped gold um, Because for example, we'll start with the gold. So I know because I've already done the test that a few of these are um, Actual gold and some of these one of these items is actually stamped 18 karat gold this ring But when you take the magnet to it It's not gonna pick it up fully and there's a reason why is because they put a heavy coat of 18 karat gold on these rings that way it'll pass the magnet test sometimes right because there's a thick coating on there because it won't pick it fully up but so there's a thick coating of gold on here and the reason they do that is because my second test which we're not going to do today would be a scratch test where we take a scratching stone and we find a, a piece of the ring that's kind of not noticeable we do a, a light scratch test well if you don't do the scratch test deep enough uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get that layer of gold on there and when you put the 18 karat gold acid on there um, It'll still show real because you didn't get down to the base metal So this one is marked 18 K, but it's not it's coated. So it's fake this one right here See look and you kind of just want to hold it and see if you can move the item to see if it's heavily plated This is actually not this is 14 karat gold. Okay, these do look like gold to the eye, but they're not heavily coated okay now you can't just trust the stamps on uh, well you can't trust them but you got to be educated on your stamps so this one right here all it's marked is 750 and what 750 means is that it's actually 18 karat gold so there's different stamps you're not just gonna see your traditional 10 14 18 karat gold you might have some uh, different markings that they use overseas this one actually is 18 karat gold and it's marked 750 so this is real you can do the same test with coins uh, these are the only coins i had available this is a walking liberty half dollar it's 90 percent silver so it picked up the non non-precious metal one uh, which we do i wish i could have found something that was uh like a fake coin but i don't have one on hand but anyway these these are not as faked as much but the morgan dollars uh carson city things like that they are they're highly faked because they're worth two or three, four or five hundred bucks if they're graded by a thousand plus. So here's some sterling silver, right? Or is it? So a lot of this stuff will look like silver to the eye. And even this, the, these chains look legitimately like silver, but they're not. Okay. So right there, that's junk to me. This does appear like it might be a little silver pendant, but it's not. This actually looks like a cheap little ring. But it's actually, it's, it's pretty when you look it up close. But this is actually silver, okay? So that'll bring in 20, 30 bucks. This, one of these two is real. I wish it was this one because it's a lot heavier, but it's not. And it picks up. So anyway, that's a quick test of how you can protect yourself of knowing uh, if someone wants to sell you gold and silver, if they want to sell you coins. Uh, the magnet is the easiest, quickest test that you can have. And I recommend if you're in this business to not only get yourself a strong magnet, but also get yourself a scratch test. Uh, if you want to see more of Grimes finds um, that we found all last week, there will be some comments in the uh, 
uh, links in the comments below. So check that out and uh, stay tuned because episode two is coming next week of Grimes Finds. And we'll check you later.